We'll begin with our ball of yarn. First thing you're going to do is outline the ball of yarn. This is a circle outline. You apply a small amount of pressure to your bag, touch the tip down to your cookie to allow the icing to adhere, and then lift up and let your icing fall into place in the circle. You'll get a much neater circle, allowing gravity to drop your line than actually keeping the tip of your bag to the cookie. It gets really wiggly that way. And then you can take your toothpick tool. I have um, just a more robust tool and use your toothpick to kind of encourage the lines to go around. You can erase, remove any icing that you don't like the look of. And if you don't like the line altogether, you can scrape it off and try again. Once you have drawn a circle that you like, which I'm gonna be a little bit picky here. Then we're gonna fill in, in the center with white. You start at the outside edges, you apply a more pressure and you steadily fill in that outline that you made. You want to apply, apply more pressure to your bag while you're filling to get a thicker line of icing coming out. And you're going to want to try and do this as quickly as possible. You'll have time to work with the icing, but the sooner that you do it, the better. I'm also going to cut my hole a tiny bit larger to help facilitate the filling in. But remember that you do still need to cut whiskers. You still need to be able to draw whiskers and um, fish bones with the tip of this icing, so don't cut it too large. Now that it's larger, I can get more icing coming out. Just be cautious that you don't squeeze your bag too hard. Sometimes they will kind of bust open at the seams. So now I've got it filled in and you can use your toothpick tool to gently swirl the icing and it will, it will smooth out for you. Try not to touch the cookie underneath with your toothpick. You're just agitating the top of the icing and convincing it to kind of smooth out. Once you've got it mostly smoothed, you can gently pick up your cookie, make sure that you have a firm grip, and tap it a couple times or shake it a couple times. But because this is going to be a ball of yarn, it doesn't have to be smooth, we will be adding more lines on top. Now we're going to set that aside and let it dry a little bit and go on to our next step, which is the fish.